So we'll start the week off then with the Chester Cup from Chester. And big feel for this on the tight Chester track. So there'll be a few hard luck stories. Two and a quarter miles. Two miles, two and a half furlongs to be honest. And at the top, Gainesville Shopper for Vinnie Gerard. Tactile East, David Robertson, Southern Comfort, Paul Rose, Daenerys, Stormborne, Graham Clutterbuck, Kiko's Accord, David Robertson, Nero's Diamond, Craig Beckwith, Duke of Dremoyne, Badrick Hogan, Cap Captain Flame, Craig Beckwith, Zephonic Bell for Graham Clutterbuck, Green Glade, Adam Old, Sixfields, Martin Lidham, Hammer and Anvil, Joshua Sutherland, Charming Act, David Hooley, Lady Will Ruhr, Padraig Hogan, Edge, Adam Old, and Confident Footsie for Alex Cherry there, all installed and ready to go, and away they go. A little bit slow out was Edge and Confident Footsie. Sort themselves out, and we'll sort of one or two of these wide are going to have to either burst forward or drop back. And I'm not sure what they they can't make their mind up at the moment, and they're just staying where they are, which is not doing them a lot of good at all. And it's confident Footsy who's got off into the lead, has got that racket, and he's four length clear as they come up past the winning post. They've got two complete circuits of the track to go. We don't say that very often in flat racing, but we do today. And confident Footsy is clearing the lead by about five or six lengths to Ladywell River in second. Then the first one running really wide is to Neary Stormborn. That one is now going to try and cut across, I think, and has managed to do so, get to within four of the fence. The two out the back, Green Glade and Edge, are both struggling somewhat. And they were they were quite wide and they've lost quite a lot of ground. Sixfields is also towards the rear, as his key goes called. That was drawn wide as well, I think. But it's Confidant Footsy, who's about six lengths clear and boiling along in front. From in second place, Ladywell River, then Gainesville Shopper is third, Southern Comfort is just showing four, then Tactile East and Daenerys Stormborn, then come the Beckwith pair together, Nero's Diamond and Captain Fame, behind that one is Hammer and Anvil, then Zephonic Bell and Sixfields and Druke of Jamoin, uh, and then Edge, Green Glade, and finally the back marker is just Kiko's Accord. Well, Confidant Footsie is well clear. Too big a lead. He's a good six lengths up on Ladywell River, who is in second. Gainesville Shopper is third. Tactile East is fourth. Southern Comfort is fifth. There's a gap there of a couple to Daenerys Stormborn. Then Captain Fame and Nero's Diamond and Charming Act on the outside of them. Gap to Hammer and Anvil and Six Fields, who are running together. Then behind them, uh, Druke of Jamoin and Zephonic Bell. As they Make their way past the stands again. Past the winning post and out for one more complete circuit of the tight Chester track. And Confidant Footsy is about four lengths up on Gainesville Shop at the top weight in second. Then Ladywell River on the inside is third. In fourth is Tactile East, fifth is Southern Comfort. There's a gap of three lengths then to Daenerys Stormborn and then Captain Flame and Charming Act. And then Nero's Diamond and Hammer and Anvil. And then Six Fields. Zephonic Bell and Duke of Dremoyne trying to go up the inside. The back three is still Edge, Kiko's Accord and Green Glade. But the lead has changed as Ladywell River now takes it up. Ladywell River has gone on into the lead from Confidant Footsie in second. Gainesville Shopper is now gone into third. Southern Comfort is trying to make a move and will have to be pulled off the fence. Tactile East holding in at the moment. The field are coming to challenge from behind. They're being headed by Charming Act. And there is Stormborn is still there. Coming round the outside is Hammer and Anvil. But it's Ladywell River who's still too clear of a green jacketed Gainesville Shopper in second. Now Charming Act comes through to challenge for a third as Confidant Footsie starts to backpedal Nero's Diamond is coming through with a run so to Southern Comfort Duke of Dremoyne has now got a good split and is coming through nicely but it's Ladywell River they've got to get to Ladywell River is six clear with just about two and a half furlongs left to race in the Chester Cup and Ladywell River is well clear of Charming Act in second Nero's Diamond Gainesville Shop and Duke of Dremoyne Southern Comfort's after that one it's probably going to be between these I think now but they've got to get to this Ladywell River Ladywell River is still five clear Gainesville Shopper, he says, go on that one as they come down towards a furlong pole. It's Lady Well River in front from Gainesville Shopper, Druke of Jamoin. Then Nero's Diamond Southern Comfort is trying to get into it, but it's still Lady Well River. Gainesville Shopper's getting closer, but Lady Well River's hanging on. Lady Well River, I think he's going to take it. Gainesville Shopper is trying to close, but can't. And Lady Well River wins a Chester Cup. Gainesville Shopper, Jack and Druke of Jamoin, and Southern Comfort, Nero's Diamond, all the way back to 
Long time leader, confidant, footsie, and Patrick Hogan takes a 1 3 in the Chester Cup with Lady World River taking it from Gainesville Shopper second for Pan for Lenny Gerard. Duke of Dremoyne was third for Padre Gogan. Nero's Diamond for Craig Beck with fourth. And Southern Comfort for Paul Rhodes was fifth. <laughs> 